On 3 News at 530, we shared how the games of Texas brought all sorts of competition to the Coastal Bend. But how about the parents and spectators that came with the athletes? Our Ashley Gonzalez caught up with the director of the games and a few athletes on the sparkling city experience and what this means for the economy. Mostly just out here to have fun. The sparkling city. It's beautiful. It's a very welcoming town. And as far as putting on the games, Corpus Christi Parks and Recreation Department is awesome. I mean, they, they provide everything. The school district is fabulous. You have great facilities. Great facilities and a great view. It was actually a great experience. Uh, we came to Corpus. Corpus is a nice city. Uh, the school that was in, uh, W. Ray High School, is a really nice school. And the environment is great. It's really professional. This is my first time at a beach. So it was nice, beautiful, yeah. Athletes from all over took on the Coastal Bend. We're about at 83, 8400, but we still have baseball next week, which will count as part of the games. Uh, so we, we think we're going to be in the 85, 8,800. Along with A1 athletes, family and spectators got their chance to experience the coast, which means a boost in our local monies. It's an 8 to $12 million economic impact over four days. They come in, they spend nights in your hotels, they buy food, they buy gas, they buy gifts, they go to the beach, everything. And it's a trickle-down effect all the way across. Mark says he plans on bringing the Taft games back to the sparkling city. Eventually, the games wrap up after baseball. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News.